Hi and welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be starting a new project. My last project was my shed, which I did last year. The reason for the shed was so I can put all the stuff in my garage in the shed and convert the garage into a shop. And that's exactly what we're going to start. But first, I need to move all the stuff from the garage into the shed since I haven't done that yet. Well, actually, it's already been done, but the footage is going to come after. So the first day, I started moving pretty much all the actual items. And now the only thing that's left is all the lumber. There's still a lot of wood and stuff in there. So once that's done, the, sh the garage is going to be pretty much empty and I'll finally be able to start on it. Now I still need to decide what I want to do with the floor. The floor is actually in pretty terrible shape. So I'm either going to refinish it with new concrete or I might build a subfloor over it. If I put a subfloor, that means that when I do my vapor barrier for the insulation, I can kind of have it go all around and it'll be a better sealed envelope. And of course the floor will have insulation as well. The downside of that is that it's not going to be as sturdy as concrete. But I mean, I could probably double layer the plywood. I mean, I can still make it pretty sturdy. I don't plan to put my car in the garage because I find it's just kind of a waste. Like it's, it's too small of a garage. I can put a car in it and nothing else. So if I put my car in the garage, I literally have no room, not even a workbench, nothing. So it's kind of a waste. That and when you put a car in the garage, even if it's not insulated, even if it's not heated, it'll rust faster because the heat from the engine kind of stays there longer and then the salt will kind of work at it. So I decided to just keep the car outside in winter. As nice as it would be to have a garage, I think the best bet for a car in the winter is not a garage, but a carport. That way it keeps the snow off, but it's still, it can still breathe. Like all the heat just dissipates faster. I mean, it has its pros and cons, right? Because I mean, it's nice to get into a warm car, but at what expense is it going to rust out faster, you know? So anyway, so the garage, I won't be using it for a car. That brings me to the second thing is to decide if I want to get rid of the garage door. A garage door has so many different moving parts and sliding parts. And it's very hard to make them energy efficient because there's always going to be seals that are not quite sealing right or whatever. So even a new door over time, the seals start to break up. So I'm kind of debating on if I remove the door and put a wall and then so it doesn't look weird on the outside, I would still put the door back, but it would just be like a dummy door. So I'm still debating on when I want to do that. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, so the biggest thing right now is to completely empty out the garage, clean it up, get rid of all the, just the sand and dirt and everything that's in there, just get it cleaned. And I need to decide what to do on the floor. And there's also a chimney in there for the fireplace in the living room, which I want to remove. Removing the chimney will probably be the first actual project that goes on in the garage. And once that's done, it'll actually buy me a lot of space because it's so small in there that every square foot that I can get is good it's gained space basically to clean up the garage i didn't want to bring my good camera in there because it's just so dusty and everything that's why i'm vlogging in my office actually that and because it's not insulated i'm sure people can hear me outside it'll be kind of awkward so that's why i'm vlogging in here instead of in the garage and i'll just cue some time lapse footage of me cleaning up so here we go
Well, that took a little bit longer than I was expecting. And that's not even everything. I still have a whole bunch of lumber to do. And I have to figure out what to do with that lumber because I don't have room. So basically what I did is I took most of the stuff out of the garage and put it in the shed. So I was kind of organizing, but I was more concerning myself with just getting it out of the garage. Because once I start in the garage, it'll be much easier if there's not so much stuff in the way. Now I have a lot of lumber that I kind of bought over the years for projects or whatever, a lot of scraps, stuff that's still good. So I need to kind of figure out what to do with that because I have no room. What I'll probably end up doing is just storing it in the basement somewhere. So I'll probably get around to that tomorrow because it's pretty late now. It's dark out, getting dark. My cat wants attention. What? What? Yeah, so that's pretty much it for today. And plan is to tackle the lumber tomorrow. And I want as empty as possible in there because the first part of the project is either redoing the floor, I want to smooth it all out, or I might just build the subfloor over it. I'm still not sure yet. Because if I build a subfloor over it, it means I can insulate it, I can put a vapor barrier, so the vapor barrier from the walls can actually wrap around and go through the floor too. Or I might just do the concrete and I'll have a nice concrete floor. I'm still not sure yet. I'm kind of going to play by ear. Time to get back to work. Well, tomorrow for me, but for you it'll be like one second. Okay, well that was a bit more work than I thought. And there was that one sheet of plywood, I don't know what it was about it. It must have weighed at least like 80 pounds, I'm not joking. I don't know why it was so heavy. So I got rid of all the wood, I stacked it all nicely in the basement. It's kind of a pain because at some point you have to take it all out again. I had like three, four sheets of plywood, that big heavy one and then a couple lighter ones. So those I just put it in the entrance of the basement because I know I'll have to move them again. Um, Basically, I'm almost ready to start in the garage. Obviously, it's not fully cleaned yet. There's some stuff that I left lying around. Like, I'll need some wood to work on, like to use as forms when I'm doing concrete, that kind of thing. And I have a lot of scrap wood. I'm probably just gonna do a dump run at some point. So once all that is out, I'm gonna clean up the garage. And there's a couple things I need to dismantle. Like there's some small shelves in the back corner. There's actually a couple places where there's drywall where I don't even know why there's drywall. It's just like couple of sheets like just in random spots so I'll get rid of all that just to try to open it all up clean it up and once that's done I can finally start on the actual construction now the tricky part with the construction is when I get my lumber delivered I don't even know where I'm gonna put it so because I don't want to put it in the garage because it's gonna be in the way while I'm trying to work so I'm gonna have to figure out something for that I still don't know what I'm gonna do so I think what I'll end up doing is renting one of those containers and putting it in the driveway. But nobody wants to give prices. Like I've asked around, I don't know what it is with that industry, but they don't want to tell you how much it costs. They just want you to actually buy it and then they'll tell you how much it costs. But it's like, I need to know how much it costs before I buy it because I don't know how, like if it ends up being a thousand bucks a month or something, it's probably not a good solution. If it's like a hundred bucks per month, then maybe, you know, like I don't know why some Companies just don't show their prices on their websites. It's really annoying. Like if you even try contacting them and no response. So yeah, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. At worst, I might build like a temporary shelter and just use like a tarp or something just to protect the lumber and then just leave it outside. The problem is that theft is really bad in my area. I wouldn't be surprised if it gets stolen overnight if I just leave it there. So yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But anyway, once I figure that out, I'll actually get started on the actual project. Personally, I think the hardest part is actually done. Just getting all that stuff out of there and cleaning it up, to me, that's the hardest part. Once I actually start building, it's just the thing of putting pieces together and bing, boom. I mean, it's it's all the moving of stuff. That's what's actually hard work. It's not the construction. So at least the hard part is done. Now I just have to decide a couple of things. Like, like I said earlier, like if I want to get rid of the garage door or keep it, 
or if I want to put a subfloor or just redo the concrete. I'm probably going to get an estimate to redo the concrete just to, to see how much it costs. If it ends up being like an under a thousand bucks, I might just get it done. And I think it probably will be because by the time I build a subfloor, it might end up costing about the same. And all this plywood, and like I'm going to want to, you know, double thick the plywood. But if I do a subfloor, the nice part is having a nice having a nicely insulated floor. So yeah, it's, I don't know, I still have some decisions to make there. At least things are looking good as far as it being cleaned and mostly cleared. Unfortunately, this took longer than I thought because I had other stuff to do. I was actually off for two weeks and I actually wanted to get started on this and I barely did really. So this is it gonna be it for this video because I don't know at what point I'm gonna be able to keep working on that again because now I'm heading back to work. So not sure when my next video on this project will be. We'll see, we'll see whenever I get time off and I can start on it. So anyway, so this pretty much concludes this video. I know there's not really much that happened. It was just basically a time lapse and me talking for a bit. So not really much going on, but hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.